All right, apparently I got the bug because I'm filming again. It's a nice, beautiful, cloudy, daylit day outside, which is like an architect's wettest dream when it comes to lighting for a building. So I got that, my ring light. I'm liking the lighting in here today. My hair's up, I still look tired as shit. You know, <laughs> sometimes the way I talk, it like makes me wonder like how I'm gonna be an architect in the future because architecture has like this, um, this air about it and architects talk in this way that's like semi-classist. There's a lot of these attitudes in design where they're trying to be the smartest person in the room and really police like the tone of language and everything and how like things should be said, things shouldn't be said, especially when you're relating like concepts and design. So I always wonder how I'm gonna be a professional in the real world. Don't worry, you won't. Hey Dumpster Divers, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to a new episode of, um, I'm actually excited for this one. Today, we are unboxing the LOL OMG Queen's Splash Beauty. Yeah, that's it, wow, okay. That's kind of a shorter name for once. I'm looking at her on the MGA website right now, and it says that she's $45. Maybe that's what I paid for. I bought her off of Amazon. She is a doll with 125 plus mix and match fashion looks. She has color change aspects. Um, it looks like she comes with like technically three outfits and then this like robe accessory, which you can transform the outfits into. So I would say like three complete outfits, even though they're trying to like market it as four because this one piece is like a really good piece. And then it's just talking about how like the queen celebrates sisterhood and it's all about helping each other straighten their crown and make people be great, which is fantastic. I love that. That's a cute message to send to like the younger kids who might be collecting these, even though it's mostly us adults. And that's a good message coming from such a shady ass company. But let's bring you guys in for a closer look at the packaging. Okay, so here's her packaging up close. And I don't know if you guys saw that music video she's in, but uh, she fucking sings her verse in Spanish. <laughs> She fucking, I, just queen, a hundred percent. Here she is in her peekaboo plastic window. She looks pretty good. Um, I absolutely love this 2D artwork. Like, so gorgeous. Queen of the show. Dazzle I Shine. Splash Beauty Play and Style. Uh, 125 mix and match looks. Color change hair. All of these accessories and outfits. Like, are you fucking kidding me? And they're all beautifully like ocean and mermaid themed. And then the back of the packaging just has Splash Beauty, like, full artwork that's so pretty. I want to cut that out or something. That is gorgeous. Everyone is a queen in their own way. Queens embrace who they are in strep fierce style. Queens straighten each other's crowns and support their BFFs. Queens become everyone and celebrate differences. And one thing I really like about that is it's just saying, like, queens fierce, they support their BFFs in their own way, stuff like that. Like, I think that's really cute. And then here are some of the other queens. I know that their colors are really jarring, but the fact that they did something so bold is amazing. And I really like sways, and I think I like prism the most. I can't remember. She's also giving me, like, massive, uh... Masquerade Madness Mycene Chelsea vibes when she's in her mermaid outfit, like costume thingy. I'm loving that. So let's go ahead and get her unboxed. Okay, so here she is out of the packaging. Her hair scares the crap out of me because it's so like detailed and intricate. And it's very much giving me like Charo vibes. Earrings are just like a bunch of strings of pearl. She has like very fun, very costumey makeup on wavy baby hairs, a pearl choker, a pearl belt, and then like this kind of silvery material going all the way down to fishnet stockings, of course. And then this tail, which I thought this was going to be like metal so it could be like formed, but no, it just kind of sticks out on its own like that. And then she came with a brush, another waist clip for her stand, a little shell purse, that actually has a slit in it so you can put some stuff in it. And seashell sunglasses, of course. She also came with this poster of her artwork, super cute. And she came with like a let's party like invitation this looks like, or like maybe, you know how they'll do like the magazines and I swear to fuck if it says she's a Pisces, I'm gonna throw her out. Oh, 
It doesn't say anything. I'm just being dramatic. Okay. Oh my god, give him a daytime Emmy. Then we have her secondary outfit. She has like this kind of fun sporty one. Well, maybe the jacket's sporty. Nothing else about it is. These giant heels, this beautiful skirt with all of these details on it. The cutest little two-piece, very mermaid themed. And then she has heels to go with her swimsuit because she's a badass bitch. And then of course this main robe piece that you can put on like anything. But let's get her dressed up in her other outfits. So we have her first outfit, obviously the very base outfit. Everything is held together with a Velcro or elastic because the tail is just elastic so it can just be pulled right off. And then her hands can be taken off for easy dressability, which will be good for this piece. So here she is with the robe on the mermaid's outfit. Um, it's a little tight. This belt's kind of getting in the way of like closing it up and using the strings to like secure it. So I might just take off her clothes and show you her in the robe. I thought these were gonna be like full length tights, but they're actually just little socks. Ugh, and they are secured with tape. There we go. I believe. Oh, I don't think it's tape. It's like a clear elastic band. Okay. I always forget how like thick and curvy these girls are and that they have little nipples. Okay, and that's how tight the robe is. So it's very much just an accessory, not like an outfit on its own. Uh, it's not super secure. One of her titties is sticking out. But there's something I've noticed like here in the armpits, if I can show you guys. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but in the armpit of the doll, it's uh, already like yanking at the stitching because this material is like really thin and delicate. So just be careful when you're messing with it. Okay, and then here's her in her little second outfit with like the huge strapped heels and everything. The beautiful sequins all the way around, by the way. Skirt, it's held together with Velcro and it has one of those uh, leg straps in it. And then her cute little like letterman's jacket it has like buckle details, ribbon details, all of that stuff. There is a mermaid tail on the back. It has a zipper, although it's faux on the front. And then um, I just put her shirt on again underneath like the one she was originally in. And yeah, this outfit is so fucking adorable. Are you kidding me right now? They got rid of the bend and snap knees, right? Cause I, I'm not feeling it in her. And I like, I'm afraid. I don't want to like snap her, but I'm not feeling it. <laughs> Christ, dude. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Getting her into this bikini, the bottom, hard to get over her voluptuous frame. I ended up breaking it. Uh, she's wearing these pearl and seashell like kind of iridescent white heels. And then if I bring you in closely to her bikini bottom, you can see where like it ripped. It was so hard to get on her. And that's really sad because it's so freaking cute. Like the top is adorable. They put in all these little extra details, like these little raised bumps that are like pearls for like no reason. They didn't have to, but she looks so cute in her little bikini and heels. So yeah, I'm a little bummed that it was so hard to get the bikini on, but it's on and everything, it's just, I wish they would have made it like bigger or stretchier or something. But yeah guys, that is Splash Queen. She is absolutely freaking gorgeous. Um, her hair is really soft too. There's like not a lot of product in it, but it's still maintaining all this curl and wave and shape and everything. And the blue, obviously like the blues are so gorgeous. I think she was worth the amount of money because she comes with all these extra like, accessories, outfits, everything like that. Very, uh, like I said, she was giving me my scene Masquerade Madness Mermaid Chelsea vibes. Like, and that's super cute. And uh, she's, she's just a badass in that music video. She really is a queen. And so, yeah, I think she's kind of worth the money, but you guys let me know what you think. Um, if you got her, like, did you like her? Did you have the same problem I did with the bikini bottom? Cause that was the only problem. Everything else is fine. Her hands came out really easy, went back in easy. There's no weird scuff marks or paint marks or anything. Like she just looks really good. All right guys, and I will see you in my next episode where I do something about this tired ass face. Girl, you look like the most beautiful pole dancer. You're gonna pay your rent in five minutes at the expense of men's horniness. And I love that.